Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to use the new Chanel holiday collection and we are going to create look number two. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As many of you know, I have my online beauty consulting service, which is where you get the chance to talk to me one-on-one -on -one through a live video chat, and you get to just pick my brain about any beauty concern you might have. So to make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. All right, so I went on a little tiny mini hiatus. I just took a vacation, a little break, a pause from life. I am very happy to be back. I have a lot of makeup that I want to play with. So today we're going to do look number two with the Chanel Holiday Collection. I've already done my full review swatches of the collection that I got. For anyone who is new to my channel, whenever I get a, a collection or a release, I do multiple different looks. I mix and match with different collections and different products. So this is just a continuation of what I already built on. And I have a lot of makeup, like I said, this is mostly Chanel, but I have a lot of reviews, a lot of, I have a pile next to me, a collections, tutorials, reviews. Uh, there's gonna be a lot coming out. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure your notification bell is set to on, and let's dive into today's look. So in the first video, we did more of a smoky eye, something, I don't know if the light is gonna give like glare here, but we created something more smoky, more intense, very classic, very chic. But today we're going to do something using the more light colors. I want something light, effervescent. I want to look and feel like a glass of champagne. And while I have the number five eyeshadow palette, I also got one of the liquid shadows here. There are two to choose from. This is the gold one. There's also a black one. So I'm going to mix the liquid and powder shadows and just create a beautiful look for you. My lips are feeling a little bit dry, so I'm gonna go into my Dior Lip Glow Oil. This is the shade Mahogany. It's a beautiful your lip, but better in a nudie brown, and it matches my sweater or is along the same color family, so I'm going to apply this here. I'm starting off with the base of the liquid shadow. Something important to note about these Chanel liquid shadows, they are waterproof and they stay all day. So you really have to do just one eye at a time. I'm doing a nice base coat of this here. As you can see, it's a beautiful gold color. So don't wait, you close it up here and then you go and you blend right away because this will dry down instantly. Not instantly, but in a matter of minutes. So you don't have time to do both eyes at once. I know I've said this before, but sometimes repetition is key in case someone didn't see my previous videos with these liquid shadows. I'm using a BK Beauty brush. This is the 207. This is perfect for liquid shadow like this. The bristles are short and also very compact. They're very dense. So you just buff out exactly where you need to be. It's not too wide. It's just really perfect for this. So this is the base layer here. Now we're doing the second eye. So I didn't really do much on my little vacation. We went up north. We went to a chalet. Some places call it a lake house or a camp or a cottage. We just, we call it a chalet here. Just a house on a lake and it was in nature. There was a hot tub. There was a pool table. There was a fireplace as well. Now I did not do any vlogging while I was there. I did post on Instagram a little bit but I did not vlog, so I don't have any vlogging footage. It's hard to find balance of like, oh, this would be interesting to share with everyone. And also sometimes you just need to disconnect and just, you know, relax completely. 
maybe if I'd gone longer, I would have done a vlog, but I find for myself, it takes me half a week almost to just like, or maybe like three to four days to just actually disconnect from work. And then the rest of the time I can enjoy myself. So maybe next time if I'm going somewhere longer, I mean, we'll see. This was local, so it was very easy to do. Okay. So as you can see, I do look quite sparkly. This is a sparkly, bubbly, effervescent look. If you didn't use this as a base, it might be a little bit less intense, but you do whatever you feel like. All right, now let's go into our gold sparkly number five. I have to say that the number five gold shadow feels a little bit texture wise more like a topper it doesn't have the same satiny formula it's just a different formula so i'm certain many of you have gotten your collection already i don't know how but somehow uh canada got the release before everyone else so i was like okay thank you uh, not before everyone else but we got it before the u.s which is extremely rare normally we get it like six weeks after the u.s so it was perfect timing for me because I was going on vacation the next day, so it, it worked out perfectly for myself. All right, using one of the sponges in the palette, I'm just going to get some color here, and I'm going to place this over top of the liquid shadow from before. Now, there is fallout with the gold topper. If you want less fallout, use your finger and just press it onto it. I kind of just swept it with a sponge that will create more fallout. So just press it in place if you just want less fallout. I'm using a bit of eye cream and a Q-tip to clean this up. If you are still using makeup remover to clean fallout, might I suggest using a sample of eye cream, a sample of eye mask or eye serum because the makeup remover will remove the skincare around your eye. So I would recommend using a little bit of skincare to remove the fallout instead. Okay, now I'm using a black waterproof liner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in the top waterline and then I'm going to trace a thin line on top as well. And then I'm taking this black liner very lightly on the first third of the eye here, and then I'm going to blend it out. Okay, and then I'm going over top with the Volume de Chanel Use Your Favorite Black Mascara. Okay, now let's move on to complexion. I definitely want to lean into this effervescent bubbly look so i'm using my baume essentiel this is the holiday collection one this is the one called ah or gold and i'm going to place it underneath my foundation this will normally do a very natural look but i might add a little bit extra after my foundation is done i'm going to use my new ultra latin foundation i'm in the shade b30 there is a new formulation of this foundation here. I did a comparison with the old one. So if you want to go watch that, I will leave a card around here somewhere for you to go check out. Now for the concealer, I'm going to stick to my Clé de Peau concealer because it's my absolute favorite one. I am in the shade Almond. So just put a little bit on the inner corner here and a little bit on the outside corner. So for my nail polish, I'm wearing the color that came with the holiday release. This is number 913 Rouge Intemporel. It's just a really beautiful classic red. I think it looks really lovely. I did a wear test with this and I posted it on my community tab. Seven days was a pretty big stretch. It was chipping a lot and especially because it's such a dark color, you really notice it but it's a beautiful color and when i was doing the wear test i was also in a hot tub a lot so that may have affected it but it looks nice with this look here but rouge noir like the classic red wine color i don't know i think maybe this would have gone maybe a little bit better with today's look i think either one is good for a holiday look but 
it's i don't know every time i see this i'm like oh, i should have worn that one instead okay now for the sake of being extra i'm going into my dior backstage palette and i'm just going to use the light highlighting color here and this is going to go under the eyes here it isn't a classic highlighting color that's going to enhance like glow like a disco ball it's more just to add a bit of lightness now for the blush i want something in the my cheek but better category and nars very kindly sent me over some of their cream blushes these are the air matte blushes and this is the shade called gasp which is definitely in the your cheek but better category it's an air matte blush but it feels almost like a creamy whipped texture and it just melts in and gives me my cheek but better okay so this is very natural and putting the highlighter stick underneath the foundation and blush you might think you're going to lose everything but there's still a nice amount of glow right here it's very natural it looks lit from within like you just have super healthy skin so if you have like a liquid highlighter a stick highlighter and you're not sure how to use it put it underneath and it just helps glow from within if you're extra like me i'm going to add just a smidge more over top i'm going to use one of the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder light catcher in honey star so what i do is i tip some product into the cap here and then i use a brush i swirl around and then i'm just going to add just a little bit my baby hairs are getting involved here but just a tiny bit over the high points of my cheekbones so honey star as a highlighter is definitely warm i think of a warm amber honey that shade but as a highlighter and i think it looks beautiful i'm glad i went with a blush that's more like your cheek but better because the blush and the highlighters together just mix in really nicely okay so i have a couple lipstick options here but i think i'm gonna go with my chanel rouge allure velvet in the shade 63 nightfall it is this gorgeous deep red it's like a brick but it has a bit of brightness and a slight mix of berry to it it's a very beautiful color i think it'll also match my shirt very nicely i'd like to take this time to show you again the beautiful gift with purchase that i received this miniature number five snow globe i've gotten so many comments private dms emails asking me about this this was a gift with purchase i don't know what the requirements are i don't know what the availability is if you want any gift with purchase with chanel i always encourage you to reach out to a sales associate that is like the only way that i've ever received a makeup pouches little gift with purchases so if you have a sales associate call them now to complete our look we have to end with a fragrance and normally I would go with Chanel to keep with the theme, but the theme also is what I'm wearing, this shirt. And it's red, so I think that the Givenchy L'Interdit red edition is a good idea. It's warm, it's spicy, it's a little bit woody. You get some white flowers like jasmine and tuberose, but you also get blood orange and a hint of ginger. If you like the classic Antelzi, you're going to love this version here. And I think that this is a great fragrance for fall going into winter because it is warm and spicy, but it's not too gourmand. It's not too sweet. It doesn't have those like sickly sweet caramel notes. It's a really nice fragrance. And it also has a nice wear, like it lasts for several hours. I sprayed this on a sweater two days ago and the sweater still smells like it. So 
I'm wearing this for the look today. All of the sparkle, all of the highlighter mixed together to me does give me like a beautiful bubbly effervescent glass of champagne. I know we still have a spooky season. We have Halloween in a few days and American Thanksgiving. Americans, would you consider celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving instead? Hear me out. When you have Canadian Thanksgiving, you celebrate Thanksgiving in October. So you have all of your spooky decor, your leaves, your pumpkins, all of that. You have Thanksgiving, then you have Halloween. You wait a couple of weeks, essentially. You wait until Remembrance Day, November 14th. After that, you are free to decorate and celebrate for Christmas. It's a free-for-all in my house anyway. So that is my argument for Canadian Thanksgiving. You get it in October when the leaves are crunchy outside and it's just a very fall mood. I feel like end of November, it's that's practically Christmas. And then, I don't know about you, but Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner tend to be similar foods. So it's kind of nice to have at least like a solid two-month break in between i don't know that's just my opinion so that is my argument for canadian thanksgiving that was a little bit off topic but i think this is a gorgeous look you could definitely make this a little bit lighter either only go in with the liquid shadow or only go in with the powder enhance like layering them enhances the look which i'm a huge fan of I think this is warm, I think it's beautiful, and I like to show you that there are multiple ways to wear this palette here. I will continue to use this and wear this on my channel. Again, if you're not subscribed, I highly encourage you to do so because I'm going to help you out and give you lots of ideas on how to use up the makeup you own. So anyway, this is today's look. I have so many reviews coming out, so many other holiday collections and holiday releases that I have. I'm just, it's staring at me. My work is staring at me. I have foundation. I have blushes. It's all going to be coming out very soon. So... Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.